We'll go ahead and get started. First question, Martin Bell. Hi, John. In this, issue, in this season, you decide to leave Washington and come into a competitive team in this moment. You can keep the motivation despite the negative record in the season. Uh, I just go out there and compete. You know what I mean? No matter what our record says, it's still the game of basketball. Um, we have some veterans on this team. We have some young guys on this team. You know, you never want to have no quit in you. You know what I mean? You want to compete to the end, and no matter what's out there, you go out there and play for something. Jonathan Fagan. John, how important was it to you to provide the example of picking up Paul George and trying to slow him down after the first half that he had? Um, well, I wanted to guard him from the start, you know what I mean? But uh, Coach had a game plan what we did. And um, we were switching uh, off pick and rolls and everything in the first half. And uh, kind of the same thing in the second half. Uh, I think we did a great job. You know, I think he had 13 points in the second half. Um, other than really those two, what, two or four free throws, he probably had just 10 points. And he made some big ones, though. It was big 10 points for them. Um, but uh, I'm a competitor, man. I like to take on the challenge of uh, guarding the best players on the other team. And um, I know the best player is going to guard me. You know, it was a heck of a battle tonight between us two. Thank you. Zach Allen. Hey, John. Um, you, you played the whole entire third quarter, right? Yeah, first and third quarter. First and third quarter. What was it like playing, you know, playing that long in the first and third quarter? Ain't nothing new for me. I mean, when I was in D.C., I used to play the whole second half, some games. So <laughs> I'm used to it. Um, like I try to tell people I've been banged up with a couple of injuries all, all year, but I can't really control by getting knee or um, just dealing with some little pain. But uh, when I'm healthy, I still have a lot to get this game. And um, I think I'm proving that. Um, it just give me more and more that I want to compete and work hard for. Um, I read all the haters, the fans. They say I'm not nothing or the team's not nothing. Uh, we know this is not the way the season we wanted to go, but we dealt with a lot of injuries. We got a team that we're kind of rebuilding it and trying to find the right pieces to move forward with. Um, but I got a lot of trust in it and know we have a better year next year. Jonathan Fagan. Kind of along those lines, and you're playing through some stuff. You had three guys limping around out there. Uh, I think like six, seven guys out. What would it have meant for this team to have been able to finish that off and get a win? Um, it would have been dope. It would have been dope. Uh, I mean, nobody wants no more victories. Um, but I feel like the effort we gave tonight, we gave the effort for uh, the rest of the year. It'd be good and something that we could build on for next season. Um, but it was just a, the start of the fourth quarter. I think we got up. We went up 88-81. And then we just had like two or three minutes where we let Reggie Jackson get three threes in a row. Uh, I think Terrence May hit a three. And then um, it was just a back and forth game where we made some mistakes. I missed some shots that I used to make when I wasn't making. You know, they just did a great job of executing. Thank you. Adam Spallen. Hey, hey, John. Um, on Wednesday night, throughout the fourth quarter, you and Christian were talking seemingly the entire period. Uh, what are the conversations that you two have and, and how much of it is planning towards the future? Um, it's just trying to figure each other out more and more, um, find ways to keep him involved um, as my job as a point guard, but also what we see as a team, um, what we see that we can improve in. Um, and also just saying, um, I mean, it's, it's difficult, it's tough at times because you want to win, you want to be competitive. Um, and just keep building trust into these young guys. Um, it's the same, like I tell Tate every game, like even the night he missed like two threes in the corner. And he was like, man, I'm putting somebody else there and not me. And I'm like, bro, I see you work on the shot every day. Um, it's a good shot for you. And uh, you shouldn't feel the way, don't like, feel like you disrespected. Show them God that you put the work in. And I think once he keep building that confidence and we keep building that confidence into him, he can uh, be pretty good. And it's the same with all the young guys. And Monty Brooks, your job is out there is to be a sh shooter for us and knock down shots and space the floor. Come in and do that. Um, you know, Kevin Martin Jr., he does a great job of bringing energy, switching, rolling, blocking shots. So um, just find different ways to help these guys out and just try to be a professional. We'll take two more. Cody Davis. Hey, John, how much, do, how much does the, the struggles you went through over the last two seasons actually keep you motivated to go out there and um, compete and put on the show like you did tonight, um, despite, what, how, despite the struggles of this team this season? 
Um, like I said before, I still think I'm an all-star in this league. I still think I'm a big time player in this league. Um, you know, in the last two years, there's a lot of talent that came in this league. And there's still a lot of guys that still in this league that was talented before I got, uh, got injured. But I feel like when I'm healthy, I can go against the best of them. And um, my job this season was to come back and show people that I still have a lot left in the tank. Uh, I think I'm proving that. Uh, and then the most important thing for me is to have a great summer, uh, keeping my body healthy, preparing myself for 82 game season or whatever, how many games we have next year. Because it's a little difficult. I, pr- I pushed myself more this past summer working out and trying to play pickup just to see where I, where I did stay. I didn't have the opportunity to play in the season for two years. But uh, I think I'll put people on notice that I still have a lot of talent left. And then my job is to try to help this uh, franchise win. Last question, Zach Allen. Hey, John. Hey, uh, I seen you laughing with, with Paul George and, sh- and shaking hands with Kawhi Leonard. But can, can you describe your relation your, your relation with those guys? And I seen I seen the quick dialogue you had when you basically played great defense on the last position before the second quarter. Um, so can you explain that that, that relation to us if, if if that's cool with you? Yeah. Um. Me and Paul George been guys for a long time. That's one of the close friends I have in this league. And uh, me and competed when he was in Indiana and I was in D.C. for a while. Uh, that's a guy I check on, a guy I hang out with sometimes in the summer when I'm in L.A. So that's uh, somebody I call a brother. You know, me and Kawhi have a great connection. I mean, we don't talk a lot, but uh, whenever we see each other, it's mutual respect. And um, it is that. And, I mean, when you have done something in this league before, and uh, people still notice you for that and, and appreciate you being back on the court, uh, it means a lot. And, I mean, even just talking to Reggie Jackson out there, he was like, man, stay healthy, man, the game. He's happy to have you back, and I'm happy to see you back healthy. So. Um, that's just a testimony to who I am, uh, my competitive nature, how much I love the game. And uh, like I said, my last two years have basically been hell for me. I mean, losing my best friend and my mom, um, then also having my two boys that uh, put, put a smile on my face and also just losing my grandma this year. Um, it's been a lot I've been through, but I feel like God give his toughest battle to his strongest people. And uh, I feel like I'm a real one. I'm always going to be me. And uh, I believe loyalty is love, and that's what I like to give. Thank you, John. Thank you.